Hello, this is Moto Test of the Week. Um, this week I'll be testing out this uh, Ghoul RC 4082 1900 kV 4 pole wind runner. Uh, as you can see now, I have a computer screen in my workshop. So I can show you in a bit more detail the specs of the motors I'm testing. Um, yeah, I got one of these last week. We went to test it. Um, let me go down. Yeah, I'll show you here. It does have a quite strange bolt pattern on them, though. Um, so you may have trouble bolting it onto existing motor mounts or ducted fans or whatever. Um, they're quite nice looking motors, as you can see there. And uh, they do only have uh, four mil. Uh, bullet connectors on the no. I think before I put this in any sort of plane I'll probably change them to 6mm bullet connectors uh, they're meant for power boats um, but here if you can see that there's the specs on there um, it says it can take 3400 watts of power at 25 volts so I think that's about 136 amps or something if it works out at that um, I'll see what I can push it to right I have the motor on the thrust stand now uh, I'll let you know the setup I'm using a 200 amp red brick ESC uh, there's no beck on that so I'm running it with a zippy uh, li-fi 2 cell and I'm testing out a new uh, watt meter. Um, this one is rated up to 150 amps. The other one was only up to 135. Um, hopefully it's okay. The propeller I've got on here is a JXF gas prop. It was a 8x5 but it's cut down to 7.5 inches. So it's a 7.5x5. Uh, battery I'm running at the moment is a Zippy 5 cell it's 4500 milliamp and 45C quite a large battery uh, needs to be really really right because this is so heavy I've had to tape a old 3 cell onto the post there to balance out the weight of everything on there um, but let's give this a run up and see what it does see on the screen of this watt meter it's a bit bright um hmm anyway I'll let you know uh yeah it's a bit bright that screen I can't see anything like through here um it's saying 134 amps and what was it Hundred thirty four amps. Where's the watts? Two thousand three hundred and twenty four watts. Blimey. That's pretty good. Maximum thrust you're going to get out of that. Oh, I can't believe it's so shiny, I can't see in the camera. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's got like 137 and a half amps. It's not bad. Right, let's try something else. Right, I've now fitted it with a JXF 7x5 gas prop and I've gone to a Zippy 4000 milliamp 40C 6L. Uh, everything's still the same. Let's see what this does. white the numbers are white the other one was black and you can't really see it that was 139 amps and what was it 2704 watts and the volt the voltage dropped hasn't gone down as far as I thought putting on the 23.8 volts that's probably why the thrust was so good that was nearly 4 kilos of thrust blimey uh, where's me check the uh, temperature of the windings blimey it's hardly gone up at all. Right, let's try a 7x6. Right, I now have a 7x6 APC gas prop on there. Um, let's see what this does. quite a bit what was that 162 amps <laughs> 3108 watts yeah look at the temperature to go up a little bit there hmm pushing it Let's see you get a higher speed with a 7x6 Then uh, I one that's coming out on screen. Yeah, 168 amps. Voltage drop 2358, 3281 watts. Blimey. Yeah, it's gone up to 32 degrees, 33, yeah, 32, 33, so it's not, not too bad. Hmm. Let's 
let's uh, try something else. Right, this one could be a good speed setup. Um, I fitted it with a APC 6x5x6x5 by by gas prop. Still on the 6 I've topped it up a bit. It's not quite fully charged. Let's give it a few minutes. And let's see what we get on this first. RPM should be higher and have better speed. I mean, what was that? 144 amps and 2,956 watts. That's pretty good. Let me. Um, let's try it again. Buy me three hundred and fourteen watts. No, yeah, three thousand and fourteen watts, one hundred and forty six amps. Buy me. All right. There's one more prop I think I want to try on this. Right, this is a prop I thought I'd uh, try on this. It's an APC 7x8, but I've cut it down to 6 inches. So it's a uh, 6x8. So the thrust ain't going to be that great. I just wanted to see what the thrust was. Because um, obviously it's more pitch. Uh, could make more speed. Um, I didn't bother charging up the battery. I just want to get a rough idea. Let's see what happens. Sandpaper out of the way. Blimey, that was still that was still a good amount of thrust then. Oh crikey! Went up quite a bit there. Uh, oh, <laughs> 172 amps, 3,443 watts. Uh, lucky I didn't blow the um, the watt meter then. Crikey. That was still good thrust though, wasn't it? That was amazing. What have we got on temps? 34 degrees. And 35 there, so <laughs> that went up a bit. Um Dunno, you'd have to be careful with that prop. <laughs> Oh dear. Anyway, yeah, so that was the Ghoul RC 4082 1900 kV. Uh, that seems a pretty damn good motor. Uh, this one is a real Ghoul RC, so it does have opening for cooling. So hopefully, you can push this quite a bit. And that was nearly three kilos of thrust on a 6x8 customized prop so that would be pretty damn fast if I made that for a pylon racer or something uh, well, that's very heavy motor being a big end runner anyway that was this motor test of the week if you like this video click like and subscribe and you'll see lots more of these motor tests every week see ya bye bye